Well hello, welcome back to some more Frame Breaker. I was trying to get a cool screenshot, but I literally just moved a little bit forward and we're already in a battle, so we're fighting some ghouls essentially. Who are these travellers whose bodies now litter the roadside? They had to look at pilgrims who found misfortune after crossing paths with the strays of Spala. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot under the hot sun. They would likely have known the stench would attract the angry they would attract the attention of flesh hungry scavengers, thus exposing the next passers by a terrific death. Clearly the realisation hadn't bothered them in the slightest. Hmm. Let's see what happens then. A trophy is the unique type of card and you can only have one in your deck at a time. A trophy automatically appears in the battlefield and you know in broad daylight. With the heat positively sweltering. Hmm. Are we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. That's a rare effect of fog. Raylan, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, your grace. It's the first I've seen of any such... thing. It's my turn, and we've only got these two rows, and we can't exactly. Every turn on turn start, damage the highest unit in this row by two. And you've got two armor. You boost the unit by ten. Cool. Uh, that's the place you down. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. These carrion eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. I was essentially telling me to use this. So what is? So it's essentially still a tutorial. We might as They look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. So you've passed. But uh, what is point? Because I don't need to do anything because we're. Laria! Ah, so fortunate we routed the beast before they had a chance to gorge. No sandy resilience. Oh, so it makes sense to use Meave's ability. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Your Grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, man. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. One boat. The steers they've grown, and they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground, fall back. We can't win, must minimize our losses. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, so we're fucked. That's entry this time. My Queen. There is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. That's Parsons lose this because we're not going to beat 48. No, that's the Wagenberg. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there! Yet another abomination. No, oh, that stench. My salts. Where are my salts?
Good old Wagenberg. So we just want to keep popping cards, essentially. Give me a target. You know, I just... Ah! And help him. Oh, that was clever. Yep, I just did. I just ordered, ordered Dragonberg's ability on me, myself. That was clever. That would just be awkward if we die, wouldn't it? We must trust each other! He's only got one card to play. And he's part of sub one anyway. The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is ours. No, that was fun. Victory. Best thing about frost? Bodies take longer to rot. Mm mm mm. And let's grab some coin. My beloved, please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, although modest, will please the mother goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I've no doubt you'll make as loving a father as husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon. Forever yours, Frilka. Well, I, I don't think he made it. Well, he's, he's, he's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Oh, hello, little woodcutter. I'm sure you're a pleasant person. Many trees we fell, my lady. Might you have need of them? So, take whatever your heart desires. They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. I like the uh, voice acting in this game. It's good. It's a very suspicious looking tree. Oh. Such bounty. On the trail, all you have to do is have a little peek. So we've got some more wood. We want to collect every fruit, really. Do 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 do. Signposts, so we can fast travel here, which is good. There's some more loot down here as well. Excellent. Let's send some more scouts ahead. I don't mind spending 50 gold to essentially be able to see a lot of map. That's useful. The lady, the masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns, like a right proper nightmare. Your Majesty, I beg of you, thrash them bandits, please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. No, oh, bless the old timer. Let's take our time. Let's add another eight recruits, which is excellent. So, Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Hmm. Your Majesty, Count Coldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy hadn't inspired them. They haven't peeked a word. Oh, lovely. Might it please your grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him, should have him jabbering right quick. I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Her mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Hmm. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. 
Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. That's quite amazing. My, we shall be addressing one another by name before long. This is an outrage! Guards, grab him! I've all in hand, Caldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no how. Nonsense. You've a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer, son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits, whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. My, a blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Mm. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady, I'll be no eye for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Uh -oh. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? No, uh, just leave them be. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray, Mother Melita, lay watch over your kind heart. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hot field and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mount knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in harsh tones. No, I think we were quite nice. The morale is a bit... It's a bit crap, because the soldiers probably just wanted to hang them. Which is fair enough. Hello... Are these the same people we just chatted to? Oh, hello. Notice boards. I wonder where they got this, where this is inspired from. Cool. There's a golden chest up there and some more loot. But we need to go down there, really, which is a bit of a ways off yet. What is this, Raynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors in broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, Your Grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. No, yeah, she's not happy. Oh, no, you, yeah, ha ha ha. I thought there'd be some treasure in here. That hut was looking very suspicious. My queen, a stressed biolaf was found inside the dwelling. He has a wound. He, what? He was wounded during a siege in Hawksman and abandoned by, com by his comrades. The location of the spoils he's just to share that issue as well as life. By a curvy salt, I will not be bribed, hang him. Yep, they're happy now. Moderate, moderate they are. I've appeased the army. Can I talk to you? What do you got to save yourself? Your Grace, two of your subjects humbly request aid, Yaplek and Wilma, they call themselves. Seems their wagons actually will snap and then they need to hurry to the market where you orders. That's gold. Some of the camp overseers have to let them see what can be done. Well, that's fine, isn't it? Let's do that. We want our morale to be high, don't we? And we go into battle. Oh, it's a puzzle. <sighs> that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! 
Oh shit! Not a rock slide. If you smell what the rock is cooking. The, f the worst type of rock slide. In a flash, Raynard leapt from me, resting the queen from her saddle. Had he arrived a moment later, me for the meta fate under a massive boulder. And as she was not free from danger, the entire es escarpment had begun to collapse onto the road, along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a sombre shadow upon the queen. Yet she need to collect her wits and act quick to establish control of her unit. Hmm. Short in battle, the battle only lasts one round. Some battles are subject to special rule sets where strength alone is not enough to win. So we need to do. We need to destroy these boulders, go. Hmm. Okie doke. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Oh, fucking hell. Cold the grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. What now? Oh, I can see where this is going. You're far fewer than I presumed. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip. I'm a voice. Hmm. Hello. Oh. Okay. okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Cool. Cool. I'm, I'm an crumbles. idiot. Fall back. Save yourselves. It's been a long day at work, and I realise what I've just done now. The wagon. We can use it as cover. Forward. We must move it forward. Essentially, I weren't attacking the ones that were actually closest to me. What now? I did take the ones that were actually on my road. So that was my problem. Now. Before I reach for my whip. One Give me a target. Ha ha! Abolista, your command. The wagon. Use the wagon now. Not done. It helps when you're, you're not a complete idiot. We've come through, Raynard. I thank you. Hmm. The walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nothing we can do here. We ride on. Foul play, question mark. Wouldn't surprise me. Rot has stepped into this kingdom. But we shall move on swiftly. Oh, hello, people. A peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods, who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, my lady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Mm. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a barnyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Clerton was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can, and will, replied the queen, though just looking at the wounded wretch. 
She knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. Wonderful. The Queen whistled and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, Your Grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But... If fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formula. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Now from now on, all moan. Good luck. Shit. Uh, let's have that scouts again. So there's loot, 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 loot over there. I remember buying some loot. Ah, I didn't want to pitch them. Mm, that's fine. Actually. Oh, we could upgrade the workshop to level 2. No, we can't, because we can't afford it actually. Nope, I lie. I, I lie. I am a fibber. Where is the map icon? How's that one? Oh, it's up there. Okay, well, we're in the wrong way. Cool. Onwards and upwards. Oh, there's a cow in that field. Oh, how delightful. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnie turn that. Just the folk of the on shite. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnie turn that. Just the folk of the on shite. Hmm, the cave. While I did, the local time a treasure is hidden within a cave. We, send, we can send a small detachment to learn what truth there is in this rumour. I must admit, at first glance, it appears rather treacherous. I can't guarantee everyone will turn in one piece at all. So we can, we can just go no, or we can send two, yeah, send two, send two boys in. Get me, get me that, get me that gold. That sweet loot. Let's go into Weddington. Oh, I think I remember this. As they neared Weddington, the Queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. Those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would. Their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty, the townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves at Market Square. Tis a slaughter. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. Just as she knew her meagre force might not subdue an enraged crowd. Hmm. What is your command, Your Grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the Queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. Her troops followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Neve realised cool. she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. Cool. A pogrom? Yeah, a pogrom. Unfortunately, this was not Lyra's first pogrom, or it's not its last. Although the wars between humans and the elder races have ended decades past, Elves and dwarves were still painfully aware how quickly rumour can turn to hatred. It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets, and the cobblestones are strained with blood. And then like, oh, there's a puzzle, so this will be fun for me. Got a routeless mob. That only lasts one round. Cool. Step away, or see your heads bounce down the cobblestones. Eliminate all phones. Phones? Foes, I should say. 
So we're gonna be six, aren't we? Cool. Raynard, who started this? I must know. So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. Tiny metals. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Yeah, I think I know what to do. We will strike the largest clusters! Disperse the mob! God save us! They're killing everyone! Run for your lives! Ah, oh, they're killing everyone, lads! Fucking hell. Should have thought about that. Me, you've restored order without suffering any losses. Raynard then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence. Ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, and the row soon engulfed the town. But there's something else, Your Grace. Raynard gestured towards an aged man who stood grieving, his face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strays of Sparler are the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. The question was, how severely? How severely indeed? Kill the fuckers. Your excuses I cannot accept, said the Queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. The rest... Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please! To a words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape? Pay out insufficient change. These are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. Yeah, fair play. Fuck them. The condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests of kith and kin. Those non-humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd like to say Wetterton's small melting pot of races lived on in harmony. Yet alas, I'm not in the habit of propagating untruths. That's, that's, a, thing. that's a good word, isn't it? Propagating. Propagating, yes. Oh, I'm simple. Yeah, that's what you get for picking on non-humans, you little cunt. You get hung. Are you going to say something not mean to me? What are you going to say for yourself? You hanged good folk today, ma'am. And for what? Because they came to the end of their tether? Oh, shut up. Cool, new markers added so we can explore this graveyard area and this area. Before moving on to the main quest line. But you know what? I think that's going to be for another time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.